What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to show you on how to make this racing suit outfit with the Juggernaut outfit, also including the red duffel bag, just like you see in the thumbnail. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first part of the clothing glitch. Hey guys, are you looking to buy an account from Charlie Smurfing? You can get an account for your Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, and PS5. It's a simple process. Go ahead and choose the console you're on and then select the account you want. Once you select the account you want, you can then just go into the description and you can see what you are getting on that account. Once you like it, you can then just add it to cart. Once you do add your account to cart, click on view cart and then you can use my discount code SDRAX for 5% off. Now make the payment. Once you do make the payment, you guys will get your account instantly. It's instant delivery at checkout and your email. You can also go to their review page on Trustpilot and let them know your boy Estrax sent you and make sure to give them a five star. So I hope you guys did enjoy and let's just go ahead and get back into the video. The first thing you will need to do is go to the LS car meet. When you have made it to the LS car meet, you're gonna walk over here to the clothing section where it does say browse outfits. Go ahead and click on LS tuners racing suits and you're gonna buy the blue X0 gas racing suit. As soon as you do buy the blue X0 gas racing suit back out of your outfits, and now we're just gonna go to a normal clothing store so then we can get a few accessories and then save the outfit. When you make it to a clothing store, the only thing you will need is something over here at the accessories. So when you have made it to the accessories, go down to gloves on slot seven and just scroll down until you find the white cotton gloves. After you've equipped the white cotton gloves, that's all you need. So back out, go up to the front counter. When you go up to the front counter, you're just gonna hit edit saved outfits and you can save this outfit on any slot that you want. You can either save it on the same slot that I'm doing it on or just any slot under it, it doesn't really matter. But after you have saved your outfit, back out of edit saved outfits, scroll through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13. Scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask. You can back out of the front counter and then we're just gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. Once you have found a telescope on the pier, you're then just gonna do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, your character will run in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, equip the outfit we saved at the clothing store, which will look like this with the racing suit and the gloves, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit, and now we're gonna to go to the gun store to save our outfit. When you're at the gun store, all you need to do is walk up to the top section or the outfits, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. After you've saved your outfit, back out of the tops or the outfits and then we're gonna start up a job. To do this, hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job called a titan of a job and fully start up that mission. And as soon as you load into the job, your outfit should look exactly like mine. Now go up here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. After you have saved your outfit, back out of the tops, pull up your phone, and you can quit the job through your phone. Okay guys, now once you have loaded back into a public or an invite only session, we're gonna get the Juggernaut outfit or the ballistic equipment. Now if you don't have it or if you're not sure if you have it, you can pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory, Scroll down until you find ballistic equipment services and if you can see if you have it blocked out and if it is blocked out, I'm gonna show you on how to buy the ballistic equipment just in case you don't. So pull up your phone, go to the internet. You're then just gonna click on travel and transport and click on Warstock catch and carry. You're then just gonna scroll down until you do find the ballistic equipment armor. I believe that's what it's called. And it's around only $500,000. It's not that expensive with today's GTA, a lot of people should have over 500,000 to spare. But after you have bought the ballistic equipment, you can then just back out of the internet and then pull up your pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory, scroll down to ballistic equipment services, and then you're going to request the ballistic equipment for only $5,000. After the ballistic equipment has finally landed in front of the mass store or in front of you, you're going to try to push it with a car. So it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, just go ahead and push the ballistic equipment box between the t-shirts and the hat. Sometimes it will be hard to do if you do have a car that's way too high. So if it is like that, you may have to just back it up, but your box should look exactly like this. Now I'm gonna have to go and scare this guy away. But when your box ex is exactly like this between the t-shirts and the hats, you're gonna make sure whenever you go up to the t-shirts that you have the option to press right on the D-pad. So just like this, you can see I'm close enough where I have the option to press right on the D-pad. And then you're gonna collect the box and walk towards the t-shirts and press right on the D-pad or spam right on the D-pad until it does put you on the tops option. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna collect the ballistic equipment, press right on the D-pad, and now I'm right here on the tops. Now we're just gonna sit here until it does kick us out. So it should maybe take up to five to 10 seconds. And just like this, it automatically kicks me out and I'm wearing the ballistic equipment. Now to make sure we actually have the ballistic armor, you're gonna hit pause and we're gonna start up a job. So just hover over any job, it doesn't really matter. For me, I'm just doing this king of the hill right here. You're just gonna, if you're on Xbox, whenever you're hovering over the job, press X, or if you're on PlayStation, press square. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna start up this job? Just hit okay. And when you have loaded into the job to make sure you have the outfit, hit confirm settings, and there you guys go. If you have the ballistic armor, then you're good to go, and that means you have it. Now, if you don't have the ballistic equipment armor and it's your outfit you had on before the ballistic armor, then you will have to redo the glitch again with the ballistic equipment. But other than that, once you do have the outfit, you can just fully quit the job, and you should be wearing the ballistic armor for a little bit, maybe around 10 to 20 seconds, and then it will come off your outfit but now we're gonna do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing. You can bookmark that job for the merge glitch, but for me, I'm gonna do the heist department merge. So I will get back to you when I am in my apartment. And this is the outfit you should be wearing right now because the ballistic equipment armor disappears. When you have made it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and then go up here to the heist planning board. You can choose any of the five apartment heist you want. It doesn't really matter, but if you're gonna copy me, do the first one, which is called Flick a Job. And if you're doing the Flick a Job, complete the first mission, which is called Scope Out. Then go to the second job, which is called Kuruma and launch that mission. Once you're in the Kuruma job or any apartment heist you chose, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, then confirm your settings, and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random, and when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're here on your own to outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit, which will look like this, and hit ready to play. All you guys need to do now is whenever you have loaded into the job is just pull up your phone and quit the job through your phone. When you're back in a public or an invite only session, you should see that you're wearing the juggernaut outfit for a little bit, then it does come off your character and you should be wearing this outfit. Now you're gonna find a car, it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, go ahead and get inside that car, pull up your interaction menu, register as a boss, you can register as a CEO or an MC. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, click on management, click on style, and on CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, the one time to the right back to none, hop out of the car, and you should see that the racing suit merges with the juggernaut outfit just like this. All we're gonna do is go over here to the mask door so we can get the head accessories on our outfit. The only head accessories we need is a helmet and a mask, so after you are here at the mask door, walk over here to your hats. Go down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and just buy the black bulletproof. After you've bought the black bulletproof helmet, you can now back out of your hats, go over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, on slot 21 and you're going to scroll down until you find the SA Republic tight ski on slot 57. As soon as you do equip the SA Republic tight ski you will see that it merges together with your bulletproof helmet and then this is what the mask and helmet look like when it have when they have merged with your outfit and that will be all for your outfit so far. You can just go over here to your tops, the hats, or the mask, hit edit saved outfits, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, we're now gonna get the red duffel bag. To get the red duffel bag, all you're gonna wanna do is go to your auto shop. When you are at your auto shop, you're gonna go up to the contract board and look for the contract called the lost contract. After you have found the lost contract, you're gonna take that contract. It's gonna say, are you sure to wish to take this contract? Just hit yes. And then you're gonna start up the first one called lab locations. As soon as you start up the lab locations, it's gonna tell you to go to the location of wherever the duffel bag will be. So I will get back to you when I do get to that location. When you made it to the location of wherever it told you to go, you will need to just take out all the enemies real quick. When you have taken out all the enemies, just run inside the building and you're gonna also need to take out all the enemies inside here also. As soon as you have taken out all the enemies from downstairs, you're gonna go upstairs and take out, I believe only four enemies up here and the duffel bag should be up here with all these enemies. And so here's the duffel bag right here on the beer and if it's not right here, it should be back here in this room. Now, once you have collected the duffel bag, it's gonna tell you to also steal the equipment. So there's two rooms where this equipment can be. It's either right here, once you go stairs to your left, so luckily for me, and if there's not, if there's not one in here, it's gonna be across the room in that green door. So those are the only two places of where the equipment could be. But once you do find this vault, you're gonna, then just gonna walk up to it, press right on the D-pad to open the safe, and then you should be able to just steal the equipment, 
As soon as you do steal the equipment, you can then leave the whole building. And after you leave the whole building, just go use a vehicle that has that gives you a parachute, which I would probably recommend an oppressor mark two, and then just start heading towards your auto shop. When you're back near your auto shop and you have the red duffel bag, like I did say earlier, make sure you have an oppressor mark two, something that gives you a parachute, and then fly high in the sky just like this above your auto shop, jump off your oppressor, and try to aim yourself towards the auto shop yellow circle. So you could maybe if you did mess up, just circle around like I am, because I probably just went over my auto shop a little too high. But once you do circle around around just try to aim yourself towards that yellow circle if you want to slow your character down hold the left and right bumper at the exact same time and just try to have your character perfectly land where you get this animation just like this once your character lands on the auto shop yellow circle it should tell you that the job is completed or after the mission is passed and then you're just going to go over here to a gun store once you have made it to the gun store walk up here to the front counter you're then just going to go up to parachute go down to parachute bags and then you're gonna buy any parachute that you want, it doesn't really matter. After you do buy a parachute, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, set your parachute to on. When you do have a parachute equipped on your outfit or your character, you're gonna need something that gives you a parachute. I would recommend an oppressor mark II, not a helicopter, because if you do use a helicopter, you will lose your head accessories. So after you have your oppressor mark II, you're then just gonna to head towards the beach. When you're at the beach on your oppressor mark II, fly high in the sky just like me, then you're just going to jump off your oppressor. As soon as you jump off your oppressor, you can just wait until you get lower to the ground, then pull your parachute, and whenever you do pull your parachute and your character lands, as soon as your character is taking off the parachute, you should see that the duffel bag is now equipped on your outfit. And all you need to do is just get back on your oppressor. When you're back on your oppressor, you're gonna aim yourself towards the mass door just like this and make sure you're high in the sky just like me. Once you're high in the sky on your oppressor, jump off your oppressor, try to aim yourself towards the mass door just like this and pull your parachute. As soon as you do pull your parachute, if you, whenever you start getting close to the mass door just like me, you're gonna hold down on the left and right bumper at the exact same time to slow your character down. Then you're gonna try to hit the blue tarp so your character falls either on the hats or the mask and then just start spamming right on the d-pad and as soon as you start spamming right on the d-pad you should be in the clothing or the mask just like this so hit edit saved outfits save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before from earlier and after you have saved your outfit back out of the hats or the mask pull up your interaction menu go to style and equip the outfit we just saved and you should see that the duffel bag is there and to show you that the duffel bag will stick is we're just going to scroll through the outfits and then we're going to scroll back and you should see the duffel bag is still here on the juggernaut outfit mixed with the racing suit i just thought the mask did look good with the racing suit and also the duffel bag they kind of match the colors are a little bit off but that's fine i don't think it looks terrible i think it actually looks kind of decent with the outfit so i hope you guys do like this glitched outfit for your male character please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching Peace.